as bread and wine we see gave strength to our hearts and made us shine with glee when we eat the bread and drink the cup of wine we believe that Christ in us is our hope of glory. Peace and blessings. This is Father Paulo for IEC 2016. Rains did not dampen the passion of almost 15,000 pilgrims as they gathered at the IEC Pavilion for the third day of the 51st International Eucharistic Congress. Monsignor Richard Cayando, National Delegate and Vicar General of Uganda, led the pilgrims in the morning praise as they celebrate the memorial of Saints Timothy and Titus. Monsignor Cayando exhorted the people to learn from the two companions of St. Paul in the ministry of bringing people to Christ and living his example. Renowned Catholic evangelist, founder of the Word on Fire Catholic Ministries, Bishop Robert Barron, gave a catechesis on the Eucharist, celebration of the Paschal Mystery. Bishop Barron profoundly summed up his thoughts on the Eucharist as meal, as sacrifice, and as real presence. He said that much like what happened to the two disciples on the road to Emmaus, Jesus comes to us even as we wander in the wrong way, to teach us how to praise and adore correctly, to empower and send us on a mission of selfless service. Well applauded for her deeply moving and challenging testimony on the significance of the Eucharist, Marian Servas from Belgium thanked the Filipino people for being instrumental in deepening her faith and devotion to the Eucharist. She posed the challenge of being joyful recipients of the gift of the Eucharist. She said, Enjoy, you are more human, and it is your gift to the world. To live thankfully and sacrificially is to live Eucharistically. Cardinal Gaudencio Rosales presided over the Mass in the morning. The Archbishop Emeritus of Manila shared that the Last Supper is the greatest Passover meal as it epitomizes the human Passover from sin and its manifold consequences to salvation. Cardinal Rosales added that the Eucharist impels us on a mission to bring Christ to all peoples, places, and circumstances as well as to embrace the Paschal Mystery. Moreover, the Cardinal said, Dialogue not of words, but of deeds is the most effective way to communicate Jesus. As what St. Francis said, use words when necessary. In a press conference held in the afternoon, Bishop Barron showed his esteem for the Filipino people. He said, in America, Filipinos often kept the church going. A media evangelist himself, Bishop Barron stressed on the pivotal role of social media as an extraordinary platform for evangelization. He challenged the students of the new media, prepare yourselves with all seriousness, have something substantial to say, pray, 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 read, read, and read. Bishop Milo Vergara, chairman of the IEC communications team, commented on the issue of masses being held at malls. Bishop Vergara was quick to respond that the church is here to reach out. Masses held in malls is a new way of evangelization, the church going out. Concurrent sessions and workshops were held in the afternoon at the IEC Pavilion and at the Waterfront Hotel. Oblates of Mary Immaculate Cardinal Orlando Quevedo spoke on the Eucharist makes the church, the church makes the Eucharist. He said that the church is born out of the Eucharist, that is, from the water and blood flowing from the body of the crucified Lord. The Eucharist does not only bring forth a new church, a new life, new communion, but a Eucharistic people devoted to justice and social transformation. Dr. Josefina Manabat on the Eucharist Cup of Sacrifice Banquet of the Kingdom said that the Eucharist should stimulate everyone to become missionary disciples facing the current challenges on social injustice such as poverty and economic inequality. The Eucharist then gives us hope and assurance that God will transform our society into a community of solidarity, fraternal love, and equality. Argentinian priest Father Luciano Feloni spoke on washing the feet of the poor, the Eucharist, and the priesthood. He said that the Eucharist is truly living and alive in the context of the washing of the feet, which is not a matter of servitude but an action of love. The Eucharist is very much present among the poor, whose appreciation of the Eucharist Father Feloni has learned to appreciate. 
Moreover, Father Filoni said, It is not you kneeling in front of the Eucharist, it is Jesus in the Eucharist kneeling in front of you. Father Filoni even quipped that upon arriving in the Philippines, he felt that Filipinos had a Eucharistic overdose. Monsignor Diego Ponce on evangelization and popular religiosity said that we should not find the existence of God, but find man himself who brings us to the existence of God. He explained that the true faith cannot but include religiosity, which is the day-to-day -day living out of the faith in people's cultures. He drew a lot of examples from the Mexican devotion to the Lady, Our Lady of Guadalupe. Speakers for the fourth day of the Congress include Salesian Bishop Thomas Menamparampil on the Eucharist as Mission, Mission as Dialogue, and Peter Cardinal Turkson on the Eucharist and the Care for Creation. In the afternoon, a parish encounter or visita iglesia will be held in 15 parishes. Pilgrims shall enrich their learnings as they visit, interact, and celebrate Mass with the parishioners. You may follow us on our social media accounts. This has been Father Paulo Asper of the Society of St. Paul for IEC 2016. As bread and wine we see gave strength to our hearts and made us shine with glee when we eat the bread and drink the cup of wine we believe that christ in us is our hope of glory